Hey, it's Nick, and today I want to talk about using filters in a Java EE application. This is a really uh, powerful application that you can use, and there's many things that it's useful for, but the thing that I'm going to demonstrate today is to set up a filter to make sure that a user is logged in when they are trying to view certain web pages in your application. So this is a common scenario where you'll have, um, well in this application that I'm going to show you, this is a sort of ticketing application. So a user would log in and create tickets for work that a customer needs done or something like that. And they can, once they create the tickets, uh, there'll be a list of them and they can go back and look at them and other users can log in and create tickets and look at other users tickets so you don't want just anyone to be able to navigate to the page that displays tickets you only want logged in users to be able to view that page so a really good way to make sure that this happens is to use a filter in your application so the way that you do that is you set up a Java class that's a web listener that implements servlet context listener and you've got to override a couple of or set up a couple of um, things in it to to make this class listen in your web application so first you set up a servlet context object and then you'll set up a filter registration dynamic object we're going to call it registration and we're going to add a filter and the filter we're going to name it authentication filter and it's a new authentication filter so this is where you actually this class authentication filter is where you actually implement the checking of what this filter is going to intercept so what's going to happen is this um, particular filter is going to intercept any request in your application to tickets or sessions and this was relative to your um, the root in your application so anytime a user tries to navigate to either of these this filter is going to be invoked and it's going to create a new authentication filter so it's going to grab that request from the user and create one of these objects and this object is going to actually do the work of processing that request to see if this user is logged in or not. And if they're logged in, they'll be able to view these tickets. If they're not logged in, then it's going to redirect them to the login page. So let's go look at this authentication filter class. Authentication filter implements filter. So there's a couple methods that we have to override here. And um, the main thing that we're going to do here is in this do filter method we're going to create a new session and we're going to find out if that session is null or its attribute um, username is null and um, if that is if that happens then we're going to redirect them to the login page so basically if session is null and get attribute username is null that means that they have not successfully logged into the application because we have a login servlet that would be setting an attribute uh, with the username, uh, an attribute named username that would have this user's login information if they were able to successfully log in. So if both of these, or if either of these is false, then we're going to redirect them to the login page. But if either of them is true, then that means that the user has logged in successfully. And what this is saying, chain.doFilter, is to just go ahead and let that original request pass through to where they wanted to go. So if they had put in tickets, then they would go to the tickets page. If they go to, wanted to go to sessions, they'd go to the sessions page. And again, that only would allow them to pass through if they were logged in. If they were not logged in, it would just it would just simply redirect them to the login page and they'd never be able to see the tickets or sessions page without being logged in. So let's have a quick look at this. Take a 
it just a second to load up here. Okay. So I'm going to try to list tickets, create a ticket. Okay, it's um, it's doing this because um, I was already logged in from before. I didn't I didn't shut this down. So let's uh, let's start this again. First, I'm going to log in. And now it lets me um, create tickets, list tickets. Okay, now we can see that this is the ticket that I just created. And it lets me look at the uh, sessions page as well. See support sessions and support tickets. These are the two tickets and sessions are the two things that that listener is listening for. So remember this URL here, let's log out and try to pass this in. Let's try to go to the tickets page without being logged in. It sends us right back to the login page. So let's try to go to the sessions page without being logged in. It sends us right back to the login page. So that shows that we cannot view those pages without being logged in. Only a logged in user would be able to get to those pages. See, and there's our ticket that we just created. And we can look at the sessions and we can look at the tickets. So that was a quick demonstration of using filters in a Java EE web application. Thanks for watching.